Dear Harold Potter, how are things at Pig Spots? And how is your ginger friend? I hope things in that cultishly religious private school are better for you than when you were being abused in a cupboard under the stairs. I have a number of questions for you, Mr. Potter, and I hope you don't mind taking the time to answer them. But then I present the supposition that you could always magic up some more. Mr. Potter, if magic exists, why do people die? Not in the manner of the circle of life, where old people become grass which is eaten by the worm, which is eaten by the bird, which is blown out of the sky, which is eaten by me. But why do young people die? Is it not an utterly callous act of criminal indifference that the magic world doesn't prevent war? Why are famines and diseases allowed to continue? And most importantly of all, why are you not supporting our efforts in destroying Boney's left flank? Radcliffe, put your clothes back on. Someone put a sheet over Radcliffe. He's got the howitzer shakes. Of course, it does occur in my mind that perhaps the world of wizardry already is helping. In which case, the world must be a sour place without it. Or perhaps your voluminous autobiographicals are works of fiction with the intent to deceive, or simply stemming from a malformed brain that has spent too much time under the stairs with bottles of turpentine and oil rags. If magic is real, conjure me a bacon sandwich on receiving this letterage. I will also apologize on behalf of the normals for witch trials, burnings, and drownings. But that, of course, depends on if your beliefs are in line with the teachings of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Or are you an abomination? Also, do you know Sabrina? Majestically yours, unless you're an abomination, Lieutenant Colonel Anonymous Bilgewater.